One of the most common question which I come across from my users and subscriber is how to convert a 3D drawing into a 2D drawing. Now AutoCAD offers variety of different ways and as far as I know there are at least three different ways by which you can create a 2D geometry from a 3D geometry. In a previous video we have discussed about using layouts and different views for creating our 3D geometry and in this video I will use a tool called flat shot to convert a 3D geometry directly into a 2D geometry. So let's begin with uh, this drawing. Now here we have this uh, 3D drawing and uh, you can see it now completely. So the first requirement for creating a 2D geometry from a 3D geometry is a 3D geometry. So obviously we have it here now. Once you have the geometry, set your coordinates. Now currently you can see here that the coordinate is X, Y, Z, all it can be seen here. And when you click on the top of this view cube, you'll be able to see that X, Y plane lies on the top of this geometry. So using flat shot, you can create 2D geometries, but only on X, Y plane. So make sure that you select your X, Y plane before starting to convert it. So I've selected this XY plane as this. If you want to change your XY plane to something else, let's say that if you want to make your XY plane this one, then select the view from your view cube. If this view cube is not visible, click on uh, this uh, icon and select view cube. And in this way, view cube will be visible. Now, once you are in view cube, select the view which you want to make XY plane and then go to this coordinates panel. This panel will be visible on 3D modeling workspace. So on 3D modeling workspace, click on this drop down and select view. And you'll notice that the view changes to XY. And now everything which you create from this geometry will be created on XY plane only. But as I told you that I feel that this view is better when compared to the view which we have selected earlier. So I'll make this view as XY. So again, I've selected this view from view cube. Uh, let's rotate it a little so that north point upwards and now select this view. So here we have the view. Now move to this section panel. Now on this section panel, when you click on this arrow, it will expand and here you will find a tool called flat shot. You can use its command equivalent flat shot as well. So let's click here and this flat shot dialog box will open up. Now here we have some options. Let's look at them one by one. First radio button prompts you to select 2D geometry as a block. So obviously we want this new 2D geometry to be inserted as a block. So select this radio button. Now move to this foreground lines. So foreground lines are the visible lines on this geometry. So when this geometry will be projected to X, Y plane, the visible lines will be the foreground lines. So we can change the property of foreground lines from this uh, drop down. So color, we want to retain it by block and line type. We want to make it continuous. So let's keep it like this. Now the next option is for obscured lines and these are the hidden lines. So for hidden lines, this radio button is checked as show. So when you uncheck it, you won't be able to see hidden lines. So let's keep it unchecked for now. And also we have an option for include tangential edges. Let's also keep it unchecked and now click on create. So as soon as you do this, your cursor now follows the 2D of your geometry. Click here and now press enter. Press enter again to use the same scale factor as this command line indicates and press enter again to select the same rotation angle. So in total, you need to press enter thrice. And here we have this 3D geometry from this top plane. Now let's move on and select some other options from this flat shot option as well. So go to flat shot, repeat the process, insert as new block, foreground lines. But now in this case, I will select show in obscured lines and specify a color. So here, color green has been specified. Let's specify red and the line type has been selected as hidden. So we will select hidden in this case. Now click on create. 
and again you'll see that a new object is created press enter thrice and in this case you'll see that the hidden lines are also visible with the properties which we have selected in obscured lines so here the hidden line is not visible but now in this case the hidden line is visible which is right underneath this geometry in 3d now here we also have one more option for tangential lines so now let's go on and select this tangential edges as well and click on create and let's enter it here and press enter thrice now what's the difference between these two geometry and this one in this case you'll notice that one extra concentric circle has been added here so this extra circle is the edge of fillet which we have created in our 3d geometry so when you look at this 3d geometry in uh, southwest isometric view you will notice that we have here a fillet so here we have a fillet now this fillet is a tangent to this top plane and this fillet is also tangent to this plane and wherever these planes are tangent to x y y z or z x planes it will create an extra line for this so for now this line where this fillet meets this top plane has been created here so this fillet starts from here and it ends here let's go to the top view again to make it more clear so now in this case when you move it cursor to this point you'll see that this is the line which is now created here because we have selected the tangential edge option as well so now let's delete all these geometries and let's create different views from this one so we know how to create the top view so go to section flat shot and select insert as new block foreground colors has been selected as by block and line color line type is continuous for obscured lines I have selected show the obscured lines red color and line type hidden now we are also including the tangential edges so create enter thrice now let's move on to a different plane this will create a front view of the geometry so for creating the front view go to the front view using this view cube again go to flat shot and create and select a base point now press enter thrice in this case you'll see a single straight line it's because the object is created but it's created now on XY plane as I've already mentioned now when you move to this view and then top you'll see uh, the 2d object which has been created here so the front view has been created here this is the top view now what about isometric view for that go to isometric view so you can change to isometric view from this view control select southwest isometric now we are in southwest isometric then go to flat shot and now in this case it will create an isometric view but still this view will be on top plane or XY plane so click on create select base point press enter thrice and go to top view and here we have this isometric view so in this way we have created top view front view and isometric view from a 3d geometry so I hope uh, this was useful to you if you have any questions do let me know in the comment box and don't forget to subscribe 